Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, welcome. My name's Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, mental health, theater actor life, life living in LA, and anything else I feel like talking about. So welcome. I hope you decide to stick around. Um, today is a first video for me. The first in a possible series, if you like it. Well, two of my passions in life are astrology and tea. I like spilling tea also. So since it's Scorpio season, somebody requested on a previous video that I do like a Scorpio tea spilling video. And I wasn't sure if you guys would be interested, so I took a little poll on Instagram. What time is it, by the way? I need to make sure not to ramble. Um, as I continue to ramble, I took a poll on Instagram. You guys actually would be interested. And so if you would be interested in this in every sign, if you guys like it, I'll continue to do it for each season. Um, especially because I like tea, it could be a chance to try different teas and review them while I'm spilling tea, right? So today's tea is Traditional Medicinals, which is a company I love, and it is Everyday Detox. It is a dandelion tea, which is very detoxifying for the body. It's not very sweet, it's bitter, and uh, it supports liver and kidney function. But honestly, I've had dandelion tea that is, you know, it took a while to get used to, but this is still very good. So anyway, um, I don't really have a plan for how this video is gonna go. I'm just gonna talk about my experience with Scorpios and talk a little bit about them, good and bad. If you guys get offended or if there's somebody leaving comments, I'm just gonna say people get so, so upset about some astrology videos and I feel so sad for them because I have never gotten heated or or even mildly irritated by an astrology video like when someone says they don't like leos i would never take that personally and take that as an attack on me so if you do i'm sorry i'm not taking responsibility for that that's on you so we're just having a good time and everybody loves a good roast everybody loves a good tea spilling and if you don't then um there's the door well, that's actually a window but you know what i'm saying all right so let me look back on my first experience with scorpios uh, my first love was a Scorpio Not to be confused with first boyfriend who was an Aquarius and uh, We I don't I'm sorry to this man. I don't know that man, but my first love was a Scorpio and We started seeing each other. I think my junior year um, and saw each other through the end and a little bit into college and oh man to this day i look back on it fondly and i really don't think i'm romanticizing it i mean he might be like you're totally romanticizing it i don't know i like to think of myself as a pretty real person pretty down to earth but it was the best and people would totally say scorpios and leos are not compatible and maybe you know for the long we're not together so maybe for the long term that's correct but something about us at that time was, oh my gosh, it showed me the possibility that love can be deep and that people can connect with you emotionally and it, there's so much more than physical chemistry in a relationship. And I was young, you know, but we had like this mental chemistry, this emotional chemistry, and it was so, so special. So we initially broke up because I was in college and I wanted to date around in college, which, you know, totally normal. And as time went on, he completely understood. He was a little, a little bit older than me. And so he was more, he was like, I get it. I totally get it. And then, um, and I've spoken about this in my Scorpio anger video, which people got so heated over, but I don't even read the comments anymore. Somebody apparently made a video on it. I don't, I literally don't care. I appreciate you guys for telling me like people are talking about you or something, but if it's negative, I don't care. Like I will literally never watch that video. So Scorpios value loyalty so much. And I think they see loyalty in a different way than Leo's. I mean, they are so, um, it's not even just loyalty, it's just kind of like when they let someone in emotionally, that's their person and it's really hard for them to, I've noticed a pattern, it's really hard for them to like see that person with other people or understand that at different points in people's lives people want to date or they want to have multiple friends. I've had Scorpio friends who are just uh, deep down not cool with you having other best friends they want to be the best friend um because they have they feel they have that level of intimacy with you it takes time with them it takes time for them to open up a scorpio is definitely someone you might have an issue with where they're like 
they want to be your priority even if oh my gosh if you have a, a friend and you start dating somebody they might be very incredibly jealous of your partner it's almost like are you in love with me like why are you so why are you so obsessed with me i tried to make that sound different because i don't know if it's gonna have copyright issues don't sue me mariah but you know what i'm saying those people that's like a scorpio energy thing totally and especially like scorpio moon scorpio venus that would really come out then um anyway yeah i we broke up and then we kept in contact a little bit and then i think i was dating around in college i came home and saw him over winter break and it was fun and then i went back to college and started dating someone and he was like i don't know if i really told this full story in the scorpio anger video because at the time i feel like i was really embarrassed about it but this is my life journey i am like no regrets you know what i'm saying so and we have no hard feelings totally like wish him the best i know he wishes me the best scorpios are not that type that's what I'm, i've always said they're not the type to have one night stands either they just they don't really get it unless they truly decide like i am gonna they decide i'm gonna have a one night stand this person means nothing to me and they really convince themselves of that but they're not really that type even if they want to be even if they are the type to get really like to need a release if you know what i'm saying um the word starts with h but i just i'm a lady i don't want to say it they are that type like they will get pent up real bad and need to get laid but they're really not a one night stand type of person they need to have some kind of emotional connection and emotional safety and intimacy with that person scorpios often they just it's like can't relate when people are like i like you so much but I also want to date around and I also like this person a lot and I have a different experience with them and I'm not ready to lock down yet. Scorpios are like, I'm sorry, what? I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to move in. I am ready to like take your name today. Uh, when are we having babies? The low key, they're like that. And it's something I think Scorpios need to accept about themselves is that you prefer relationships or, you know, where things are very clear. Well, on the other hand, Scorpios do love a bit of drama. I've noticed they love drama. And so when I see Scorpio-Scorpio relationships, honestly, I'm like a match made in heaven because you guys are the ones that are going to be able to survive this roller coaster madness. I think a Cancer might be, sometimes could be a little too clingy for a Scorpio's vibe. The Scorpio kind of, I think, wants to dominate the emotional realm. If they're moody, they want to be the moody one. If they're like the clingy one, they want to be the clingy one. Don't you bring your clinginess around me. It's kind of, there's like a double standard there. But yeah, I think in the long run, Scorpios do very well with stable earth signs. They stabilize them. Earth signs may also not play into Scorpio creating drama. Scorpios can be the type to make drama so that they feel something, or they might be the type if they're not, they haven't worked enough on their expression, they might do things to create a big scenario so that they can just in the middle of an argument actually blurt out what they were pissed about so like they'll make it a jealousy thing like you're on your phone all the time who are you texting i don't trust you blah 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 blah, blah. and then it'll just come out like well you you looked at that girl funny at that at that holiday party last year and i haven't been able to stop thinking about it it's like that's what you wanted to say but you had to make this whole blow up of who are you texting i saw somebody's name like they have to make it a whole thing it is a common thing where they will create this whole dramatic scenario and then finally the little seed that was actually bothering them comes out and you're like you could have just said that and we could have addressed that but yeah, I still love Scorpios. I love Scorpios, even though I've had some sad, sad experiences with them where they're like, if you can't commit to me, like I will never love you romantically. Again, you crossed me too many times. If you wanna go be a low player, I'm not gonna be a part of that. And you know what? I respect that. I respect those boundaries. That's hot. That's hot. When people have boundaries and they're like, I don't do that, you can do what you wanna do. I don't do that. That's what a Scorpio did to me. That guy and at the time i was like ah! but it's also like okay i kind of wanted to have my cake and eat it too his emotions were being hurt um is that a say his feelings were being hurt his emotions were being played with kind of because of my behavior so listen like mad respect to him so i get it and scorpios can be good at knowing their boundaries and they get real prickly when you're crossing a boundary so at least that's good a lot of them have a backbone for sure sometimes they go overboard i think they've learned how much power they have with their emotions 
Oh, can I just say, Scorpios in general, they are the type to be able to drain the energy from a room. And you wanna be like, why are you here then? Why did you come? If you are literally gonna be in a horrible mood and everybody feels awkward because we're trying to cheer you up and it doesn't work. That doesn't work with a Scorpio. Like, if a Scorpio's in a bad mood and you're like trying to guffaw with them and, and like be a little silly, they're just gonna be like, they're gonna make you feel so stupid. <laughs> like, they're not the type to be distracted. Air signs, you can be like, look at this, look at this, look at this little cat. It's a cat, see the meme? Like, you know what I'm saying? Scorpios cannot be distracted from their emotional world. They are the only ones that can break themselves out of that moodiness. And when they do, it's like, oh, okay, the sun just came out from behind the clouds again. I guess we're all good. Everybody can relax. But when they are in a bad mood, it is uncomfortable. It is like walking on eggshells. It is like there is a porcupine in the corner of the room that is gonna shoot his spikes into your flesh if you don't tread carefully like it is yikes and they will pop off on you if you did nothing wrong if they're having a bad day and you do something and you're like a little bit in their way they will unload on you <sighs> and the thing about a lot of scorpios i know is they don't really always know how to apologize because they can be so moody and by that i mean their moods shift extremely oftentimes they think that that's normal and they think everybody gets that. And especially with people with a lot of earth, it doesn't make sense to us. Like I have a lot of Virgo and I'm pretty much an emotionally stable person. So, and I also am very sensitive. So to how people speak to me, especially. If a Scorpio speaks to me in a certain way, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember how I felt. I'm gonna remember that they didn't mind speaking to me that way. They didn't think twice. It's disrespectful and a Scorpio might be like, dude, everybody gets in a bad mood, everybody gets prickly, we're moving on. When somebody like me needs an apology to move on and oftentimes from a Scorpio, you just won't get it. And also, as much as they can be moody and living in their own emotional world, not all of them are comfortable being soft. It's, th they're scorpions. Like a lot of them have learned this survival technique from various life experiences that they've had to be you know, to show their their ammunition right off the bat. Like, yeah, I'm fun and nice, whatever, but don't mess with me. That's the energy that, that a lot of Scorpios give off is like, I can F you up, don't mess with me. So it's hard for them sometimes to let that down without feeling like they've resigned their power. They're very much into maintaining power. And they're quiet often. So they're like a little bit more of a reserved energy as far as like how loud they would be or something. But they are people who don't like to give up their power. This is really just me roasting Scorpios for a lot of the time. But honestly, you guys wanted tea spilling. And also, I love Scorpios to the day I die. And I figure like everybody has flaws and every sign has things that I've noticed that are, you know, difficult to deal. Everybody has that. So again, I hope you're not taking this too seriously because this is all fun and games and I love me some Scorpios. One thing I do appreciate so much about Scorpios is that they stand up for what they believe in. Now, it's not always in the most tactful way. It's not always in the most gentle way, but I'd rather have a friend with a backbone than a friend without a backbone. Um, I just can't, you know, as a Leo, valuing loyalty, valuing people fighting for their friends and, and for what they stand for and, and having beliefs that they that ground them a lot of scorpios i know have very strong beliefs they're not just like eh, i do whatever they're very grounded in their political beliefs how they believe people should be treated their boundaries they they have really strong lines of where they stand and they kind of want everybody to know and i do appreciate that because that way if we don't vibe we probably just don't vibe and we can keep a distance. I also love that they're not creeped out by weird conversations or conversations that aren't frilly and happy. A lot of people just wanna have sunshine and rainbows conversations all the time and we're taught that certain topics are off limits and I think in a certain context they should be. But if you're trying to be intimate with somebody, I'm saying like on a friendship level, anything, there has to be a level of vulnerability and opening up about your beliefs and and your life experiences, good and bad, and your emotions, I think that's a major way to bond with somebody. And so I think anyone that has a relationship with a Scorpio, a close relationship, knows 
what depth in a relationship means and that's a great gift. Oh, a friend I always talk about in my videos, Anna from high school, she was a Scorpio and she was the reason I got deeper into astrology. Since freshman year in high school, she knew so much. She would ask people about their charts. She knew all about the different planets. She knew like it would be so impressive. Somebody would say their birthday and she would know what sign they, they were and it was so impressive to me. And she was just different. And I went to a school where, I mean at least when I was at the beginning, I went through an adjustment period because the girls were, you know, a lot of them were extremely wealthy from old wealth families and um, they dressed a certain way, very preppy that I was not familiar with. You know, I just felt in many ways that I couldn't relate to them. And then later in life you realize that, you know, you can relate to people who have different upbringings than you. But in high school, they, you live with your parents, you come to school dressed in the clothes your parents bought you mostly. So it, it feels like it's kind of, to me it felt a little bit when I was insecure, like a little bit of a fashion show or a parade of like, who has money and, and she just wouldn't participate in that. She wasn't really um, in, interested. And I know she didn't come from immense wealth. Uh, her mom was a teacher just like mine. So, you know, we already had a lot of things in common. I found her incredibly down to earth. I also loved that she did not with people she didn't F with. You know, she wasn't fake. Like, especially freshman year of high school, you wanna be friends with everybody and you're, like, she was not fake. If she didn't like you, she didn't like you. Um, and she was a little prickly at first and I remember she was still trying to feel me out. I could tell, I think maybe at the beginning she didn't like me or we both had strong personalities. And then once we started having intellectual conversations, we realized how similar we were. I realized what a, a lovely energy she brought to my life and to this day like I love her so much I don't see her nearly as much as I I want to but I always wish her the best and I think about her all the time a lot of what Scorpios go through as they grow up I can imagine they would feel quite alone if they don't have friends that relate uh, a lot of the the deep hurt that Scorpios feel I mean I'm sure they're told they're overly sensitive all the time and then they might they might combat that by just hiding everything which is going to make them just a really unpleasant person because they do need some sort of expression it might not always be telling everybody how they feel no 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 but creative expression or writing or you know some kind of physical fitness honestly where they can get out any kind of anger scorpios live in a world <sighs> In our society, we have emotions that we are told are ugly and that shouldn't be shown. And if we have a name for them, then obviously they're normal. You know, anger, jealousy, hatred, uh, insecurity, envy, lust. Like we have all of these things that we're taught are, are, are sinful, basically, depending on your, your religious upbringing and things like that. But and, and Scorpios are just dipped into that whole world. They just come out knowing what all of that feels like. They come out m more mature than everybody else in a way because of, of the experiences life is gonna bring them. Life put like really puts them through it because in some way I think the universe knows they can handle it. So I imagine an adolescent Scorpio would feel quite alone sometimes um, in dealing with those because people might be like, I don't relate. Like just get over it, get over it. And Scorpio's like, that's why they're known for having, for holding grudges. And I can tell you, they do. They hold grudges. And a lot of Scorpios I know are like really proud of holding grudges. And I'm like, if it doesn't emotionally affect you, I guess do what you want to do. But I've never heard of anyone saying grudges are good for you. You know, protect yourself. Of course, if someone's hurt you, maybe be a little more cautious or learn a lesson from it. But a lot of the Scorpios I know love holding grudges about things that have nothing to do with them. I'm like, you were not even involved with this person at all and now you're like giving them the cold shoulder or now you're like leaving rude comments on their Instagram or totally, you know, trying to embarrass them in front of people or you, you totally called them out. They can be very, very unforgiving of other people's errors and humanity. And they know what it means to be human because they feel all of these dark things sometimes and they have these beautiful complex thoughts and they have a, a, a deep understanding of death 
and this usually this amazing relationship with death that many other people don't have because of the influence of Pluto. And then on the other hand, they can be so hard on people. Like you would think that there would be Capricorn and Virgo just all through their chart and that's what the energy was because they can be so critical and unforgiving. Not even critical, like Virgos are like picking you apart and they don't even realize maybe they're being rude because they want to help you. A Scorpio is like, they can really pinpoint some hard stuff that also might be unproductive. I Somebody said the other day, uh, my friend Kira, where there's someone in her life that is blunt and honest in an unproductive way. And I think a lot of Scorpios who haven't managed their tendency to be critical or like maybe their passive aggression can be blunt and honest and really proud of it and really proud of holding grudges and really proud of like that's how I stand my ground is once you cross me I don't I know Scorpios that are so proud of that once you screw with me never again you're dead to me it's like isn't that a lot for you to carry around I get it I used to be that way too but now I'm like eh, I just don't care about you what else do I have to say about Scorpios I want to keep it PG 13 on my channel so they will give you the emotional ride of your life in all aspects of life. If you are not comfortable with eye contact, get comfortable with it. And Scorpios are some of the hardest people to keep eye contact with because I've talked about, it's just something like, especially Scorpio rising, it's like, <laughs> you just wanna look away because it's so intense. If you're thinking about getting involved with a Scorpio, this sounds like a good, if you're thinking of getting involved with a Scorpio, please call, da -da 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 -da. Scorpio, oh my God, we need a Scorpio like survivors hotline <laughs> oh my god no but the, in my in my one of my videos i said and this is my motto scorpio is gonna scorpionate okay they're gonna do what they want to do you can't change them they require death and rebirth through their whole life like a phoenix and through all of those deaths i mean they go through some tough times like life sets up Scorpios to be destroyed and built up again. Destro I mean, it's a rough go of it, but again, like I said, they can handle it. So that's how they learn. You're not gonna like teach a Scorpio. Don't try to play their tricks on them by holding a grudge on them or giving them the cold shoulder, being passive aggressive. It's just gonna be a mess. Um, comment down below your relationships with Scorpios, any fun details you have about them, or if you are one, what you think makes you a Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it. I love Scorpios so much. I don't know how many times I can say, I'm like scared of y'all coming after me. But if you do, you do, okay? Uh, I will talk to you on the flip side. Let me know if you want a series. And uh, happy Scorpio season, you guys. Love you. Mwah. Bye, guys.